Ladies and gents, this story, this improv story, is based on an idea, idea given to me, which is a man who loves his bike. And the story commences. So let's see what we can do here. There's a guy, one of these cyclists, that's right in his cycling. So much so, he's got no one but two bikes. He's one of them. His first bike was his first bike. Got myself a bike. Then he decides, actually, I want to have a bike, um, like a good one, a kick in the boot daytime sort of muddy commuting sort of one and then my my out with the the lycra boys out with the lycra boys and all that good one his first one cost 350 quid his second one cost two fucking grand two grand so he um he goes out on his commuting bike right then he gets his brand new bike Goes out with that. So light. So light this bike. He comes back and he puts uh, both the bikes in the same room. Puts It's got a wee cupboard. Puts them in there. The next day he comes for his commuting bike. He opens the door, the wee cupboard door, and he notices that the commuting bike has fallen over in the cupboard. Which is strange. Name reveal... Oh, the guy's called Craig. Craig. This guy's called Craig. His bike's a uh, fella. Which is kind of strange because he's pretty sure he, he leaned it up against the other bike, you know, the new bike. Anyway, he goes to work and his bike. Does his work, cycles back home, that's that. Puts his bike in the cupboard. The next day, he doesn't go out for his uh, cycle on his fancy bike that night, but he decides he's going to do it the next night. He uh, goes in, does his commute. Next day, his, uh, his old bike, his first bike, is fell out again. Look at hell. Picks it up, cycles it to work, comes back, puts it in the cupboard, after a wee bit of time, he decides he's going to, um, after dinner, maybe go for a cycle on his new bike. He opens the cupboard door, both bikes are lying on the ground. The old bike's lying that way, another one's lying that way, kind of like half up the, the wall. He's like, it looks like somebody's came in and just started fucking chucking the bikes about. So what is going on here? So he goes into his new bike and he's like, oh I love this, love this bike. Oh this bike's amazing. Oh god. I love this bike. Comes back up the road, puts his new bike back in the cupboard. While he was out that night, he got chatting to his his pals, a like the boys and all that. One or two of them had a camera. You know, kind of GoPro sort of thing on the helmet and everything. Um, and he's like, "Oh, maybe I'll get one." You know, maybe post some videos on YouTube if, if um, post maybe put a camera on the bike or put put it on my my helmet. Post some videos if I get if I get in an accident or something. Anyway, he puts his new bike back into the, the cupboard and he's like, "It again." Looking at it, he's like, "God, I love." Oh. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. He says to his new bike and he shuts the door. About five seconds after shutting the cupboard door, he walks away and he hears this. <laughs> for the cupboard. He's like, what? Opens the, opens the cupboard and the, the bikes are off. They're falling out of the other place. He's like, I fucking leaned that against the... Is it is it the grin? Is the grin slide that make them slide away? But that doesn't explain. He puts them back up. He shuts the door out. Everything's fine. Goes into the kitchen, make himself a cup of tea. 
There's that fucking racket again coming for the cupboard. He runs in, he's like, what is that? Is there a fucking fox in there? A badger? There must be something like a rat. Must be there's something knocking he bikes about. He goes in, bikes in all fucking line about the place again. What is going on here? He doesn't know. He's looking about for a fucking rat hole, can't he find it? Um and there's no such thing as a rat hole, but you know what I mean? Maybe there is actually. Anyway, goes out for his commute. And then John is work John lunch and he's work he decides he's gonna nip run to Curry's PC world and get himself one of the GoPros for his helmet. He's gonna go he's gonna film it all, you know, just in case, you know, he sees things. Gets up the road, puts his bike in the cupboard, right away just takes out his new bike. He knows there's something going on in there, like rats or something, he doesn't know, there's, there's kind of, it's hard to sort of see, it's a wee dark cupboard, maybe it's fuck all. Does, it doesn't really know, but something's going on, could have, a cat, doesn't know. Anyway, he takes his new bike, goes for a cycle, takes it out, goes for a cycle, meets up with the Lycra boys, tries a wee bit of filming with a thing, plays a wee bit of back, so the type he's got the wee screen on, he's like, oh, look at that, look at that. Looking about and all that. He's like, look at that. Brilliant. Comes back up the road. Brilliant bike, by the way. That new bike. Puts his new bike back in the cupboard. Puts everything back in the cupboard. He's got all his bike stuff in the cupboard. Puts his, um, uh, what do you call it? Helmet in and all that with the GoPro on it. That whole sort of thing. Says to his bike again. Oh, I love you. Shuts the door, goes to make himself a cup of tea. Ba bang, ba ba bang, bang, bang. He's like, fucking hell. Opens the cupboard door, there's the bikes lying about as usual. He's looking about for a rat or a fox. So, what the fuck is going on here? What is going on here? Evan's lying there, it's fucking. The two bikes are lying there, the helmet's lying there, his fucking GoPro, his GoPro's still attached to the fucking helmet. Jesus Christ, his fucking GoPro's nearly broke. He picks it up, picks up the helmet to take the GoPro off and all the rest of it, in case the rat fucking chews into the fucking GoPro. He notices he left his GoPro on. He had left it on. He's like, I'll be able to see what's happened. I'll be able to see what's happened. He takes his GoPro, walks into the kitchen, sits down. He's like, I see you. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do that? Rewinds it. He rewinds it. Plays it. He sees for this angle, kind of angle like that. When the door shuts, when the door shuts, the bikes look kind of transform like transformers. You know, like the two the two bars at the back that come out the way, and there's a wheel. They like kind of turn into legs, and then see the sort of handlebars at the front. They turn into like arms. And they're fucking arguing, man. The lot, ah ha. He loves me. He loves me. Another one's like, you're just as fucking, he fucking bit in the side as but a fucking totty. I'm the one he comes back to. I'm the one he's riding every fucking day, man. I bet he gets his fucking meeting two veg with you, but he comes to me when he wants dessert. <laughs> and then I was like, wow! What? <laughs> Not fuck at each other. And then he notices a bit where he opens the door and they stop. And he's like, so he's watching her back, he's like, oh, they're jealous, man. They're jealous. And he's like, I know how to deal with this, man. I know how to deal with this. He takes 
he goes in right away and he goes like that, opens the door, he goes like that. I just want to say, I love the pair of yous. Love the pair of yous, man. Nothing happens. He shuts the door, walks away, clatter, comes back, it's another fight. Another fight has obviously happened. So he goes right on the way to the next day, see when he's cycling to work, normally he cycles to work in his denims, you know, when he's kind of commuting bike, and he's like, right, thinking to himself, and at night time when he's gone in his fancy cycles, he's cy cycling around the lycra, has skin tight stuff and all that. So see when he comes back for work that day, you know what he does? He goes, change your plan. He takes the commuting bike out for the night time cycle. He gets sort of lycra gear on. A lycra gear on that skin tight lycra gear. And he's like, man. And he's like, I've not had a shower. But it doesn't matter. I think we're familiar enough now. And he takes that commuting bike out. Just normal hybrid bike, no fancy, 350 quid. And he fucking rides that way the place, man. I mean, he rides it fucking here, there, and everywhere. Bridges, up north, down south, fucking rubbing. Rubbing, rubbing himself against the seat, man. Robbing right into it, man. The fucking saddle's practically right up his fucking ass, man. And I guess he's stinking, man. His boys are stinking. His ass is stinking. He's getting robbing right in there, man. A right good fucking scene to him, man. He's stinking all that fucking musk. Or that musk. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or that musk. Rubbing against the saddle, man. But he doesn't stop there, he gets off the bike. And he's like, oh. Oh, better go and tie my laces. He crouches down, and as he's down there, he's a big, a big fucking lick like that. Right up the frame, as he's getting up, and he goes like, oh. Sorry. And he rides it all the way by, man. Rides it all the way back. And then, see, just before he gets in the house, he takes a wee detour to a hedge. Now, remember, he's got lycra trousers on. What he does is he stones in front of the saddle, you know, like so his arse. Like, so he's stone on the ground so that his arse cheeks are sort of pointed to back towards the pointy forward bit of the saddle. And he crouches down. He crouches down. So that the pointy bit of the saddle, the front bit, is sort of hooked onto the arse bit of his um, lycra trousers. And then he slowly stones up so that they pull down the back of his trousers. And then he slides back the way. And he does stuff that I can't, I can't say because of terms of service, the, the TOS and all that. But it, it lasts for about 10 minutes. Right. Then, after that, no word is said. He simply goes back. Back. To. Um, back to the house. Puts the bike in. Leaves the helmet. And the GoPro, which is on the helmet, in, in that cupboard. Shuts the door, goes like that. I love yous both. Shuts the door. Walks away and waits. And he waits.
and he waits. He's waiting for the crash sound. Doesn't happen. The next day, he goes in. Next morning, he walks in. The bikes, bikes are in a slightly different position, but they're no, they're no lying on the ground. He acts like, uh, sorry about the eyebrow, by the way, sorry about that. He uh, picks up his helmet and the GoPro. I don't know if he's saying. Picks up his helmet, I thought uh, Lynn was standing outside the door there. Picks up his helmet and the GoPro. Oh, just picking up my helmet. He pictures that the bikes don't know what a GoPro is. Takes it out of the kitchen. Has a wee look. Has a wee look. The fancy bike. The second the door was shut the night before. The fancy bike went like that. Yeah. He's just trying to make you feel good. Just, just try to feel sorry for you. And see his old bike. Doesn't it rise to it? Doesn't it rise to it? The new bike saying all sorts of fucking horrible things, man. Old bike doesn't it rise to it because it's so, so happy. It was ridden all night. And it's just an impenetrable glow bubble of self-confidence and it's fucking stinking man and the, and the old bikes like that here smell that man smell that and Craig's watching the back picture and what it must have spelled, smelled like in that cupboard man he's like smell that man the new bike's like, it's just, smell that man. And then they don't say anything for a while. Time passes. He forwards on a bit. Forwards on. To a bit where they're talking again. They're going like that. The new bike's like that. So. What was it like? What was it like? Is it good? And he starts to get a wee bit embarrassed. Craig. Because they're, they're talking about him. And he he kind of feels a wee bit shy, so he switches it off. And then... He decides to give them a night off. He doesn't go in. Does it go in for a bike? Decides to just leave it like that. The next day, during the night, he hears another fucking, he hears another like, banging. Lots of banging. He's like, fuck, they're fucking at it again, man. I can't be bored going down. Can't be bored going down this time. Banging through the night. The next day, next morning, he opens the cupboard door, expecting to see the two bikes fucking smash to pieces, but they're not. He looks down, and what does he see next to the two bikes? A wee baby bike with stabilizers. The end. <laughs>